Everyone is always talking about the tone curve and the best way to use it, but they always leave out this one little hack that is actually going to help you understand it and give you better results for your photos. So let's talk about it, my friend. So this is one of the images that we will be playing around with to show you how powerful this tool really is. So here is a tone curve and you're going to notice that it's a linear line. Now to make it more easily understandable, let's actually go ahead and break this up into quadrants. So the first quadrant and control point is going to be this one right here, which is actually our black. So this is going to be the darkest part of our overall image. Our second quadrant is going to be right here, which is actually going to be the shadows. This quadrant right here is going to be our midtones. This quadrant right here is going to be our highlights. And of course, the last quadrant is going to be our white. Okay, so now that we have our control point set, let's go ahead and play around with them. Okay, so we're going to actually go ahead and grab this control point, which is affecting the overall shadows. So you'll notice if I go ahead and pull this down, I'm going to make my image overall darker and give it some more contrast. Now, if I were to go ahead and bring up the control point and notice it actually brightens up the shadows in my image. So now that I've shown you what it does to the image, how exactly do we use it to make our image better? Now, most people will tell you just to go ahead and create an S curve. So let's go ahead and do that. So to create an S curve, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab our shadows again, and we're going to go ahead and just bring that down. And then we're going to come up here to our highlights and raise that up. Now in its simplest form, this is an S curve. And, and just by looking at it, you can see that it has made a huge difference in the photo by just adjusting this one section. So here's the before. Here is the after, and I haven't even touched the basic panel yet. Now, while the S-curve is great to edit your image, it isn't exactly the best way to do it. And the reason for that is because you're simply just kind of guessing on what to do. And the S-curve isn't always going to give you the best overall look for your image, but let me show you what to do differently. Now, what you want to do is you want to come to the top left of the panel and go ahead and click on this little button right here. Now, once you've clicked this button, you're now going to hover over your image. And as you're hovering over different parts of your image, you're going to notice in your tone curve section that there's a little control point basically showing you what part of that image that you can adjust. So if I were to come over here to this rock and say, okay, I really want to adjust those tones right there, you're going to notice that the control point that is set is really kind of more towards the shadows. So if I were to click this and hold it and then just drag up, I'm going to brighten up my image. Again, if I were to go ahead and drag this down, I'm going to go ahead and darken it up. And I actually like that dark moody look. So we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. So if I were to hover over my subject and their skin tone, Tone, that's kind of raising it towards like the middle of the midtones and the highlights. So let's go ahead and click. We're going to just drag this up. I feel like we can still go ahead and brighten this up a little bit and add a little bit more contrast. So let's go ahead and click on this and just slightly drag up a little bit. Now look at the difference from our original S curve that we created just by simply dragging up and down versus using this tool right here. Now this doesn't look like our traditional S curve, but it has wielded better results. And just like as a little bonus tip, if you've seen pictures on Instagram that kind of have like that film look, that super faded look, easy way to do that. This point right here, which we mentioned is the blacks. You just go ahead and grab that, drag it up. You're gonna begin to notice that it gets that faded look. And then you'll also do the same thing with the whites. And now we have a better overall image. That is a huge, huge difference with just one tool, one tool that transformed your image to the next level. Now we're not done just quite yet because you're gonna notice in our tone curve, we have multiple channels here. We have a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. Now I will warn you before going into this that when you mess with these channels, you have to be very, very careful with the edits that you do. It's super easy to go overboard with these channels and ruin your image. Trust me, I've done it. Let's go ahead and go over to this red channel. If I were to go ahead and slide this up, we're gonna be adding red to the overall image. Now, if we are to slide it down, we're actually gonna be removing red and going more towards cyan, which is the combination of the blue and that green channel. And as you can see right here, it's super easy just to ruin the overall look of your photo, but it can make a positive impact. So let me show you how. So let's go ahead and create two control points. We're gonna go ahead and create one here in the midtones and then one here in the shadows. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to to specifically target the shadows versus the midtones. If I don't have that control point in the midtones, then it's going to be affecting the overall midtones and highlights of the image. Now, while we do have a lot of earthy tones, do you want to go ahead and slightly bring it down just a smidge into the blue and see kind of what that does? So let's grab our shadows, slightly bring that down. I kind of like that. It kind of gives it like a nice cooler look, which honestly is what the day actually felt like when we were taking these photos. So I like that change. But let's 
also go ahead and go over to the blue channel. Now with the blue channel, same thing pretty much. If we were to go ahead and slide this down, we're gonna be removing some of that blue. And this time I really want to affect the midtones and also part of the highlights. But I kind of want to bring it a little bit more to the warmer side. So I'm gonna slightly bring this down to the yellow. I really like the way the photo is looking right now. So again, let me show you what the before is. Okay, so that right there is the tone curve. So hopefully after watching this video, it's not as intimidating next time that you open up Lightroom. But again, if you did learn something, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and as always, stay creative, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.